Having a bad neighbor can mean the difference between a peaceful life or living in hell. But what happens when your own neighbors are also from your platoon? We bought this property and thought it was the start of a new life. This week, we have a couple whose new bridge property was not the Riverside Paradise they thought it would be. We moved in recently and loved it. The place had great view by the river. It is on the opposite of the bridge. And they even left two HMGs. We had our doubts and uncertainties about the property. Oh god! Oh no! Come on, go! Oh god, oh god, no, no, stop! But we put that aside and started decorating. Here, yeah, perfect. Yeah, like that. Get up into positions, boys. That look good? Like this, maybe? Then, we found out who the neighbors were. Soon after they move in, they get an unwelcome surprise. I will call my cousins and they will kill you. They must have got bored from not having anyone to shoot. They started threatening us. They even said they were gonna kill me. I will kill you. I, I will kill you. I will steal your mother. What happens when a heavy anti tank squad move into an area and have no enemy contacts? They turn on the neighbors. They started playing their instruments in the middle of the night. Rammers, I'll, I'll call the council and complain, alright? If you don't stop the noise. I'm um, Ben, is the infantry over there? The fire of rockets, that poor armored vehicles over the bridge. What the hell was that? Call it, Jeff. Oh. Funny sounding foreigners on the other side of the property started playing bad music as well. Wait, is this only 18? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, both our neighbors are doing things. No, why did With tensions high, can Mr. Demonic and his squad buddy Devarco ever hope? to live peacefully. Yeah, I was scared to leave my own home. I was honestly scared for my life. <laughs> Find out on Shocking Squaddies next door. Who can you trust if not your squad mates?